So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at GoPro's subscription and see if it's actually worth the money. So GoPro's subscription plan is a monthly subscription that you pay for and it gives you access to certain perks, discounts, camera replacements, whole host of things. Go just jump over to the website now and take a look at what you actually get in the subscription. I'll give you my opinion and my experience on it so you can decide if it's for you or not. So I'm on the UK site now over on GoPro's website and we've got the subscription page up. And it's basically saying that you get the best of everything. You can save up to £100, $100 on a new GoPro. You can have unlimited cloud backup and auto uploads. You can get up to 50% off certain GoPro accessories. And there's also a no questions asked camera replacement. Obviously they save money on a camera, that's like a given. The un unlimited cloud storage is also quite cool as well. So say for example, you are out shooting on your camera and you don't have a very big SD card, or even if you have a big SD card actually, and you just want to put your footage somewhere for later on or you want to store it, but you maybe don't have an external hard drive or a big enough hard drive on your computer. GoPro's cloud backup is a great way to make sure you can keep hold of your footage and you know, your content and your photos and you can get access to it later. There's also a setting in here as well in your camera that you can set auto upload. So once you've got your footage, it will automatically send it to the cloud when you have a Wi-Fi connection, which is pretty cool. And you get access to that when you have the GoPro subscription. This is from my experience. I am a GoPro subscriber to this plan. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by GoPro at all. I just love their products and use them for my mountain biking and action sports filming. I personally believe this is worth it because you're paying, I think I pay five pounds a month or five dollars a month, but that gives me access to up to 50% off their accessories, mounts, and anything you wanna to buy to enhance your footage that you're gonna get in your videos. So for me, it makes sense. And you can obviously cancel this subscription at any time. So for instance, you could join the GoPro subscription plan for 30 days. You could buy the accessories that you want if this is all you wanted it for. And then you could cancel your subscription, which I know some people have actually done that. But that's like another perk to it. You're not tied into any contract or anything like that. It's simply just pay monthly or you can save a little bit more money by paying for the entire year up front. The no questions asked camera replacement. This is an interesting one but I've had a very positive experience every time I've wanted to replace a camera. So in the past, I've broken cameras through my own errors. I've smashed screens, I've smashed lenses. With the GoPro subscription plan, you can actually contact GoPro, tell them that you've got a problem with your camera, even if it's just a simple scratch lens that's affecting your footage or your photos. And you can tell them that and they will literally replace your camera free of charge. You'll send your camera off, take some photographs of it, show them that the, uh, you have proof of purchase, and then within a, a few days, they will send you out a brand new unit, which I think is pretty cool because there'd be nothing worse than smashing up a camera and then having to pay for another camera when you could have actually got a free replacement just because you're paying a small amount every single month, almost like insurance. You also unlock premium editing tools for the GoPro Quick app. So I'm quite a big fan of the GoPro Quick app, especially if you don't have very much editing experience, but you want to put together some cool GoPro videos. The subscription gives you access to different tools. So I'll just reel these off now. So you get the speed tool for slow-mo, fast and freeze. You also have premium filters for snow, water, and other, other places that you're shooting. So you can enhance your videos, premium GoPro themes, and you have more music choices. So GoPro originals music as well. So you want to add like a bit of a beat to the back of your music. You can do that. You can also do live streaming as well, which is quite cool. If you want to go live and use your camera as a live streaming device, when you have the GoPro subscription, you can do that. So that's kind of like my take on GoPro subscription. I personally do think it's worth it. It's like a couple of quid a month or a couple of dollars wherever you are in the world, but it gives you that insurance for your camera if you ever break it and you get like a really, really good discount off media mods, uh, lenses, like anything that will enhance your content creation for the camera you get up to 50% off, which is amazing. You aren't tied into any contract. If you wanted to cancel halfway through the year and you're just paying monthly, you can do that, or you can just pay up front for the whole year and save yourself a little bit of money as well. If this video was useful, consider giving it a like because it helps the video be shown to more people. And check out my channel for more GoPro tips and videos and stuff like that. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.